Hi guys and welcome to Goa and I am here you might have guessed it by now for TVS's Motor Soul event yeah okay they've given this haversack and uh, it says here dear Faisal it gives us immense pleasure for the first edition of TVS Motor Soul anyways over the next couple of days we are going to be in the world of TVS and let's see what all happens because Goa seems very exciting right now it's somehow raining cats and dogs and whatnot and of course the view from the hotel room is really very nice but i'm extremely sleepy and tired so i'm going to see you tomorrow morning <laughs> Good morning guys, right now it is 8 o'clock and I'm already full sleeve shirt because it is going to be really hot now. I'm in this dilemma to hope for rain or to hope for the sun because I middle ground to one any wala. But you know, because it's an sort of an open event, you don't want rain. And because it's sort of an open event, you don't want sun either. It's gonna be hot, I don't know. You see the view is beautiful from the room's balcony. Right now I'm gonna rush, have breakfast quickly, and then we're gonna to head to Motor Soul. Really excited today. Let's see what's in store. So right now I'm at Moto Soul and uh, obviously the environment is totally electric. There's a showcase of a lot of motorcycles. We are quickly going to go through them. Some of them are really historical as well. So at the front, as you can see, these are the Apache motorcycles. That's a 180, that is a 160 and that is a 200. However, this one right here is a little important. You know why? Because it gets the smart connect system. Yes, Bluetooth connectivity on the console of this Apache 200. Meanwhile, we have the RR310 right ahead. Now, there's nothing much to talk about the RR310 because there's no difference with the regular model which is sold. Okay, there's the Dakar Rally motorcycle which is standing here, which has gone there right now. And you can see them. But you know what I'm going to do? I am actually going to show you the other motorcycles. Yeah, these motorcycles look absolutely crazy, don't they? So this happens to be the RTR450. It uses a 450cc engine. Yes, that's right. A 450cc engine produces 52 horsepower and weighs just 120 kgs okay and this is the rtr 300 it has a 290 cc engine 45 horsepower and weighs 110 kgs so we're going to come to the next one here and this happens to be the rtr 200 rally okay 200 cc engine 28 horsepower 120 kgs and it uses a five speed gearbox now over here there are a lot of iconic tvs motorcycles so actually starting with this one this happens to be the rr310 the race version it is known as the rrc okay and it produces 50 horsepower 125 kgs is the weight now we have the rtr 165 4v 32 horsepower from the 165 cc engine weighs just 95 kgs and this is the fiero rally this one produces 22 horsepower it uses a four speed gearbox weighs 105 kgs and this one is the Shallowin, yeah, the Suzuki Shallowin, uh, yeah, something which they made with Shal uh, Suzuki actually. 140 cc engine, yes, that's right. A 140 cc engine, 28 horsepower, weighs 95 kgs. This one is the Shogun, yeah, again something with Suzuki. Uh, it's a two-stroke engine, 110 cc, 20 horsepower, four-speed gearbox, and weighs just 98 kgs. Meanwhile, right here we have got another moped. This is the XL50. This is actually the one which started TVS's racing series. As you can see over there it says our love of racing began when a tvs 50 moped clock 105 kilometers per hour weighs just 55 kgs 50 cc engine and 10 bhp of power it's a two-stroke motor where's the engine can you see that that is how small the engine is yeah it's a two-stroke and uh, coming from the rear obviously that one does not have lights because obviously weight saving is the name of the game there is no cluster here because weight saving is the name of the game no cluster on any of these race bikes and as you can see the bikes are really very light uh, lightness actually plays a big part and you've got slick tires as well exhaust is super duper loud we've got a cluster here and uh, it says coso there the cluster looks really very nice indeed i love white cluster somehow and this is the current model the race model full slicks obviously you get an aftermarket exhaust as well really very light and the cluster seemed like an aftermarket fitment right there and you know what you have an engine kill switch probably you don't anyways so this is the area which talks about the history of tvs racing yeah they've completed more than 35 years in racing 
and there you see it says in 2005 they launched the Apache RTR the shallow in won the Indian National Rally and Supercross Championships and the Supra also won a lot of National Rally Championships so this is the area here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the stunt area because that's even more exciting so this happens to be the stunt area I can't talk because it's too loud here This is the TVS XL Goa edition and as you can see it has got a lot of Goa decals and paint job. It's got wider tires, it's got a disc up front, fatter folks I believe and of course it looks absolutely crazy and ready for vacation right away. Yeah, the rear tire is also bigger. Meanwhile you get storage space here. You can actually mount your luggage there. Green colored seat for eco-friendliness, green colored crash guard for eco-friendliness and a handlebar which is green. By the way that cluster comes from the end talk and you know what it says? It says Goa on the top. Yeah, it's complete vacation mode scooter or rather moped I would say and I definitely love it a lot. Maybe I should get one and modify it to look even cooler than this which might be a little difficult to achieve and the rear light actually looks like the front light somehow and you have got footrests here as well and they've pulled off the mod job really very nicely and they look at the switches okay it's got a lot of switches as well. I don't know for what the switches are but up front you've got a bold light circular one for that retro feel. Do you like the scooter? It says TVS XL Goa Edition. Okay, it's actually playing a movie. <laughs> Let's get going. Just back in the room right now. The time is around 6.30. Yeah, the day was hectic. However, it was a lot of fun until and of course until and un unless and until actually the rain spoiled it for everybody yeah that's right the rain actually spoiled it for each and everybody today because uh, everything was going very fine very smooth and then it started raining and it rained so heavily that nothing could be done like you completely wet down shoes are very wet and all that stuff but still the event was very well organized and uh tvs did a great job of showcasing a lot of stunting and their you know whole heritage of motorcycles the older motorcycles the ones which went racing and beyond that what i really loved was the you know the dakar versions of the motorcycle because they're participating in dakar rally we've been participating since a long time they announced a 2020 lineup for the dakar rally they also announced merchandise and talking about merchandise uh, there is a t-shirt which they've kept in the room right now so yes uh, TVS is also getting into merch, which Royal and already has, and this is the same place where Rider Main also happens, so it's a very known venue as such. Anyways, uh, tomorrow another day we're gonna have a lot of activities and all. But to sum up, I would say that uh, Motor Soul for the first year has been great, a lot of fun, and uh, good thing for TVS enthusiasts, especially for Apache owners who can come and enjoy music, enjoy the food, enjoy the environment, and like-minded people together. So I'm just gonna end this vlog right now because uh, I don't know what's going to happen to the rains tomorrow. And in case it doesn't really rain, I might vlog. If not, then that's the end of this vlog. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That's a like button. And that's me signing off from Goa. See you next time. Bye-bye. Day two of Moto Soul, and uh, I'm not going to tell you what happened because rider girl Vishaka is going to tell you what happened. So Hi. one second, I forgot audio is on me. <laughs> Go. Hindi chalega na? अभी हम लोग जो बेस्ट पार्ट है वो मिस करने वाले जो कॉन्सर्ट होने वाला हम लोग ने कुछ नहीं किया बट समाइडिंग एंड धन फ्रॉम माई टीम गोन फॉर दैट आई डो नॉट गो बिकॉज आई वॉज फीलिंग 
अभी कुछ करने के लिए है नहीं फ्लाइट छः बजे और अभी बजे हैं वन फिफ्टीन एयरपोर्ट इज़ टू आवर्स एंड शी वॉन्ट्स टू बाई समिंग यू नो फॉर अम काजू है नॉट चलो अभी वीडियो शॉपिंग है एंड कर दो ना वीडियो अरे बोल मैं बोलूं हां एज ऑलवेज गाइस हां यस 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 शुअर यू वांट एंड हां एंड 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 ऑलराइट एज ऑलवेज गाइस दिस इज राइडल विशा का साइनिंग ऑफ दिस टाइम विद फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर मेकिंग बोथ ऑफ अस अ पार्ट ऑफ योर डे वी गोना सी यू वेरी सून विद द नेक्स्ट वन कीप काम एंड डोंट डाउ अरे बंद करो बंद करो गगन सर आ रहे हैं गगन सर आ रहे हैं बंद करो गगन सर आ रहे हैं हेलो